All right, guys, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Not sure when you're watching this, but I figured I'd put this video together. I was having a conversation with Sandra and she was talking to me about um, questions that people have with contracting. So if you're getting this video, you might've gotten it from your upline, you might've gotten it directly from Sandra and it's because you're inquiring over getting contracts. Um, so let me give you a better understanding of what it is to get contracts. When, when you submit contracting paperwork to a company, Okay, a um, couple things happen. Number one, there's a monetary cost, a cost that you know we've freely decided to take on ourselves. So we, we cover that cost for you. It's anywhere from 60 bucks to 100 bucks per company. But in the same token, there's a lot of administrative stuff that happens behind the scenes. And the companies, um, they want you to write business if you're getting contracted. And a lot of companies, if you don't submit business, Within 30 days, 60 days, 90 days of when you get that contract number, what they'll end up doing is they'll end up terminating your contracts. They won't, they won't, they won't, um, they won't, they won't continue with the, with the contract writing number that you have and you have to start the process all over again, take on the cost, so on and so forth. So as a company, this is what we've decided. Um, there's a status called JIT, stands for just in time status. What that means is that we've collected your contracting paperwork, number one, and we're holding it. We've already reviewed it. We've already looked at it. It's in great shape, no problem, but we have not turned it into the company. We prefer to get as many agents in a JIT status first. The main reason is because we wanna make sure that when you turn in business is when we turn in the contracting paperwork. We don't wanna turn in the contracting paperwork um, we don't want to turn in the contracting paperwork until you have business to turn in, okay? So there's only a few companies that you're going to receive contract numbers on right away, right away. Americo is one of them, Forrester's is another, and Aetna is another. The reason why is because none of those three companies have any type of a time period where they require your business to go in, okay? Um, here's a benefit because you might be saying right now, well, damn, Tony, that kind of sucks because I'd rather have a contract number first. So I can go talk to the clients. So I can run quotes. So I could do this. So I could do that. Not the case. You can run quotes and you could submit applications even with companies that you don't have a writing number with. Even companies you don't have a writing number with. So as long as we have your contracting paperwork and you're in the JIT status, you can log into the callums.com website. You can run quotes with 90% of every single company that we have. You can even submit iGo electronic applications without having a writing number. There's only three companies right now, three right now, that you need a writing number first before you turn in business electronically. That's Allianz, Anico, and Oxford. All three of those, if you don't have a writing number, you only have one of two options. You either wait to get a writing number and then submit it electronically or you submit a paper application. So my advice to you is this, <laughs> let us get your contracts for Foresters, let us get your contracts for America, let us get your contracts for Aetna. Let us keep every other one of your contracts in a JIT status so you could still run quotes, you could still submit applications. If you know for sure that you're gonna be turning in an Allianz application, an Anico application or, um, or an Oxford application, let us know, let your VP know, okay? We'll begin contracting for you without a problem if we know you're about to turn in business. But if you're just trying to get contracted just to get writing numbers, to have it under your belt, but you don't, you don't have anything in the pipeline to turn in, it doesn't serve you justice, it doesn't serve us justice. Um, it costs, uh, monetarily, it costs money. And, 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 it, and it compromises your ability to write it in the future if you get that contract terminated because you haven't written any business. So I'm not gonna be too long. I think this hopefully has helped you guys out. It hopefully answers a lot of questions. I know a lot of you come from an, a different organization where they give you writing numbers first. And, and so you're thinking you need a writing number before you could run quotes, before you could submit applications. In the independent world, it's not like that at all. For example, I mean, for example, North American, you don't need a contract number to, to, to run quotes or to submit applications. Mutual of Omaha, same thing. Forrester is the same thing. Um, you know, there's a lot of, there's a lot of companies, um, NLG, the exact same thing, SPLI, the exact same thing, protective, the exact same thing. I mean, 90% of the companies that we write, you don't need a writing number. You do not need, I repeat it. You do not need a writing number 
for you to be able to run quotes and submit applications electronically. You don't. So now that you know that information, what you should be thinking is, okay, Tony, can I just make sure that I'm in JIT status, right? I know that I'm gonna get Americo, I know that I'm gonna get Foresters, I know that I'm gonna get uh, Aetna, I know I'm gonna get all three of those, I know that I'm gonna get them. Um, I just wanna make sure all the other ones are in JIT status so I can run quotes, I can submit electronic applications, I can go to the callums.com website to do both those, running quotes and submitting applications. And if I need to run IUL quotes, I can go to my upline VP who can run the quotes for me, or I can go directly to call UMS, talk to John Countryman, who works the sales department, he'll run the quotes for me. And I wanna make sure that in JIT status, I could submit the contracts with the applications at the exact same time. This will hopefully give you so much clarity, the kind of clarity that you're looking for, so that you know you have the tools that you need in order to get business done without holding back anything. I'll give you a couple examples. Um, Josh Collier in Tennessee. Josh Collier in Tennessee turned in um, uh, turned in close to twelve thousand of annual premium with business within three days of him coming on board because he let me know ahead of time that he had business to turn in, so we pushed his contracting right away. However, Romaine is just so you guys know up in North Florida. He didn't have writing numbers right away, and he was able to submit applications electronically without having writing numbers because of this method, because all he made sure he was in was in JIT status. He wanted to make sure he was there, and we began contracting while the application was going through underwriting. Hopefully this helps. If it doesn't, contact your VP first before you contact me, before you contact Sandra, so we can give you the clarity that you need and go up the right channels. Have a good one, guys. Be blessed. Have a great day. Turn in a bunch of business. Place a lot of business. Make a lot of money. Bye-bye.